Hey everybody, it's the Wise Barbarian here, and I just want to explain to you all why there was a lack of videos after a certain point in the week. See, you may have noticed in the video that I believe I uploaded either Tuesday or Wednesday. I forget if I recorded it on Tuesday or uploaded it on Tuesday. All I remember is the thing that, what well, maybe I remember, and maybe you all probably need to remember if this makes sense, is during that video I mentioned how my brother was currently waking up to use the bathroom and how there was, to you know, this one specific in the bathroom and, and how there was a stomach bug, a situation going around in my house. Yeah, let's well, just say that night when I went to bed, that's when it struck. I'm just glad I got the barely three hours of sleep that I got. I am not kidding. I woke up and just, y'all yeah, admit, at first I didn't realize I had the stomach bug because I just thought I really needed the shit. <laughs> Which is funny to think about because like when my sister got the stomach bug, she was the first one in her house to like I said bring it home. But at the same time though, when she got it, she had a friend over and essentially both her and her friend already really got it at the same time. It was my sister and her friend both at the same time that brought it in to our house. Yeah, so essentially you can kind of blame them for why there was no like real videos this week and why there's also still not going to be videos for a couple of the days into next week and whatnot. I've decided that, to be honest, with how long it took me to actually recover from, to not only deal the whole day of dealing with the bugs, but actually fully recover from it and whatnot. This is the full, like the first day, but it was like the complete day of this one night. Like it took me a day of just like, I couldn't do anything. I was literally laying in bed. And uh, for like, because remember that night I told you I was on my couch, okay. I woke up on my couch, really fun. I woke up on my couch like, I didn't feel that bad, I mean, honestly. Yeah, I really needed the shit, but at the same time though, fun fact about me, if I wake up, I just taking a nap, relatively, depending on what wakes me up, I'm up pretty quickly. But also, if the less amount of sleep I get, when it comes to like most people, the less amount of sleep they get is that makes them more groggy or more tired. Me, if I have less sleep, Somehow I have more energy and I don't know why. Like me sleeping for one hour versus me sleeping for 10 hours, you're actually more likely to lose the fight if I've slept for one hour than if I've slept for, for 10. Okay. Heck, I once slept for goddamn 15 hours straight. And to be honest, I almost fell back asleep. And I was, I, while I didn't immediately fall back asleep, that was mostly for two reasons. One, before I went to sleep for those 15 hours straight, I'd actually just woken up around 6 o'clock in the morning for like, essentially, uh, this is a basic one sleep, you know. Oh man, I wasn't actually asleep for like 8 hours at that point, but at the same time, no. I was so early until I went to bed. For some reason, I woke up like super groggy and whatnot. Like, like I could barely get my eyes open. I could barely walk. I walked into my kitchen, open medicine cabinet. Bear water not to take my meds uh, that I, that this to this day I haven't taken in fucking years. Well, not years, you know, months. My friend says months. It was around a point where I was still like trying to be active. When, take, when it came to taking my meds and whatnot, because I have medication for ADHD, which you can hear in my voice that 
I haven't taken that shit in a long ass time. And then I was looking for anger issues and allergies. Or at least those are the ones that I was supposed to take in the morning. The afternoon, I took this another different one for ADHD. And the same one for anger issues and whatnot. And it's not the allergies. That's supposed to be a 24 hour thing, but in my opinion, it barely lasted 12. Like, like seriously. But either way, and then at night, I would take, uh, even the Proxin Sodium. This is uh, kind of a over the counter, like off the shelf kind of sleep medication. Well, I've seen called guanfacine. At least that's like the the medical name of the pill. I don't know what the like the for like Equate or like Great Value brand version of whatever the guanfacine is. But in a, in a short kind of summary, it's kind of supposed to do the exact same thing that the Broxin is supposed to do. So I was taking like two different kinds of sleep medication at the same time. And I'd still be up around like the time I'm up right now with telling more than double the amount of energy I have right now. But that's because I'm tired as fuck right now, okay? Like, bro, I still hasn't really fully recovered for the ability to stay awake for an extended period of time when, when everyone's gone to bed. And okay. And I really hope I gain that ability back and it's not like my sense of time when I took that 15 hour nap. Like I never fall, I've never gone to sleep, I just have gone to sleep for that long. To this day, I still can't believe you know, that I took a 15 hour nap. And no, this isn't just like, a, oh yeah, I just woke up occasionally throughout the bathroom. No, I slept for a whole goddamn 15 hours straight. And the worst part about it, when I did this, I wasn't even sick. Yeah, you guys were probably thinking, oh, he's talking about when he had a stomach bug, he did this. No, no, this was like, this was back when I was still, I'm pretty sure I wasn't even in just Votech. I was like in, still in actual, like, uh, what was that? I think I was both in Votech, and I think I still had like Votech, and like epic charter school so I'm all in my homeschool program that was part of whatnot. But also at the same time though I'm pretty sure this is also during like summer. No, actually actually I think that was actually this summer break. I remember actually it was like really early on in the summer break of the previous school. It was either early on in the summer break of the previous school year or it was like the, the previous summer break. It was one of them now that I think about it. Yeah, because I remember my sister wasn't home that day. Well, she wasn't home when I went when I when I first woke up, and she wasn't home this, when I woke up the next day either. But my brother and mom was, and my dad. The only reason he wasn't home at the time you know, was because he was at work. Yeah. Well, he was at least likely on his way to work, anyways. Since my dear, actually no, he definitely would have been starting a shift because my dad works 12 hour shifts. I found exactly where he works, but like, dude works 12 hours there and whatnot. And dude has this like whole work schedule where essentially he's just two, uh, two weeks straight from Friday to Thursday, not of the next week, but of the week after. And after those like two weeks, he gets a whole week off. And then it's back to work after that week. But at the same time though, the the two week streak of work, like also it'll alternate between like one one of the two week streaks, it'll be he'll be working the day shift. And then the other and then then he'll get a week off and then he'll go to the next two week streak. Where I'll be working the night shift, but in reality, though, 
no matter what, he really works from about six to six. The only real thing that changes is where or not he's stuck. Is where it was when he is, you know, where not he's starting at a.m. or starting at p.m. You know, yeah. from day shift he starts at six a.m. and ends at six p.m. And the night shift he starts at six p.m. and ends at six a.m. And it takes him about an hour to get home. No matter what, he always leaves at like four twenty. Would it be like four twenty in the morning? Or, 4.20 in the afternoon. Yeah. Well, the thing is, though, is when there's been moments where you just stay up kind of all night. In reality, he occasionally, for some reason, leave at like 5. I think the latest I ever him leave, it was like 5 or something. The thing is, though, when I've like been awake, when he gets home, when we're working the night shift, he was nice early, he's got home around like 7. When he worked the night shift, and during the day, yeah, it was also like seven. The only difference is, you know, the night shift he's on seven a.m. and day shift he's on seven p.m. Either way, though, doing had like twelve hours to work for like two weeks straight, and and a whole week off, and the dude like, I asked him like, I kind of went about like how like. Dude's got me doing like every single thing around the house just with no help. And dude took that and, and thought that I was explain, trying to complain about, you know, me doing everything. When in reality, I was just asking for, I wasn't asking for someone to do it, else to do it. I was, I wasn't focused on the fact that I was doing everything. I was also, I was just, my main point wasn't that I wasn't, that I was the one doing everything. Is that I was doing everything by myself. You know, it was one man cleaning up the mess of not even five people. Because the thing is, like, I actually generally clean up after myself in most cases. Like, if I use some silverware or one of our ceramic plates or bowls when I want to, if I have to, I generally just, I don't leave it in the sink. I'll, immediately wash the, the silverware and the ceramic whatever I used and just put them back in the cabinet after very thoroughly making sure I got all the food residue off like yeah I'm not just gonna take a little crumbs or no 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 that shit is deep clean okay before and then I completely dry it off and put it wherever it goes ceramics go in the cabinets and so it goes in the drawer. How was that? And I do that. I do clean up after myself. But everyone else, they just toss, like, no, I mean, not toss, but for the sake of walk off. You know? And then, and then they wonder why the sink is like nearly always full. You know? And I wonder, like, why the hell all they try to act like it's my problem? Why it's my problem that they don't know how to clean up after themselves. You see, one of the biggest excuses I hate when parents use to get like their oldest child to do shit is to set a good example for the younger ones. Not once have has either one of my two younger siblings ever looked at me and thought, you know what, that's a pretty good example of like anything. Like, bro, I ain't even a good example of, like, what not to do. You know what I mean? Like, seriously. That, that's how little of a good example I am. Because I've had my moments where, like, I've gotten in trouble because of some arbitrary, arbitrary reason and whatnot, you know? Oh, man, I, I make mistakes. I am not perfect. Nobody's perfect, okay? And I hate the fact that pe my family seems to expect me... To be at least, you know, superhuman. I swear. There's been several days where I was just fucking... Like, just trying to, like, imagine. What would it be like to actually have the powers that my family just assume I have? You know? Like, my family sees me talking at a million miles an hour. And just assume I can instantly teleport to their fucking location. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta realize, mouths don't age like the rest of the body do. You know what I mean? Like, when you when you start going old, and I say this like when I'm only fucking 20, but listen, okay. When the elderly, you know, start to, when, when you buy, when you're older and your body starts to just deteriorating, you realize it's the one thing you never hear an elderly first and complaining about, you know, when it comes to just pain and whatnot, their mouths. You know, it's the one thing they do. You know, it's one part of the body they use near constantly here without, you know, complaining about it hurting in from the use. I'll tell you, their mouths. You know why? Because the mouths don't really deteriorate nearly as much as the rest of the body. That's why, even though, yeah, I'll talk at a million miles an hour and barely fucking breathe to the point where essentially I have a breath like the one you just heard before I mentioned it. I need barely fucking breathing. Uh, whew, like, yeah, that yawn, that's about the most breath I'll take. So, yeah. So, just a heads up, this is just a forewarning. Yeah, and this is a little heads up for why there wasn't many videos this week. No, I'm not gonna. Even though like none of the playlists are canceled, they're not canceled. And I'm probably gonna just to make up just to kinda more appropriately even out the videos that I'm also gonna skip for the recording of the of the series that I did do this week for like next week's and I say next week. Hope I remember to actually upload this when I wake up. Open and well, it's certainly already the third morning, it's already the day. But like, I am gonna follow my code and I'm gonna upload it when I wake up. Yeah, you guys don't realize this, but you can generally tell the time which I wake up by two factors one, when I upload my video, and two, how long the video is. Well, I mean, not exactly how long the video is, but like specifically more the file size of the video. Because like longer videos take longer to upload. But at the same time though, because I don't really have the ability to like schedule and upload and whatnot. Like 100%. I have to, if I want to upload a video in the morning, if I want to have a video upload load in the morning when I wake up. I have to manually do that as the first thing I do when I wake up. <coughs> Excuse me. So, like, last thing I'll do before going to bed, uh, like, oh, well, it was really like the first thing I do after I record a video, is open my YouTube app where it be this first, this first, I can just go down here from here, you know? Like, like I can just go, just go down here and whatnot, you know? So, yeah. But the point is, I was on YouTube, switched my. I show my channel accounts active on uh, probably not active, you know, it's the one that's like is the like active account. Because remember, I have multiple accounts and no you may not know what the hell they are. I'll tell you what I'll tell you what I use them for though. I have three. Not three others, just three. One of them is this YouTube account. Other is my actual like, personal kind of account. And the other it's an account that I never really meant to make, if I'm being honest. But I'm kind of, like, actually properly stuck with. Like, permanently. Due to, like, one major reason. And another reason that's still only slightly minor. But at the same time, though. Well, like, I only call out this reason because of the fact that, well... Uh, I don't know why I actually don't know anything about it. See, I have two, I have like two my main email accounts, like two like the Gmails, and then I have my YouTube channel, it's like just for like, you know, recording and uploading channels and stuff. And it's just like the Google Play account that I use when playing games on mobile that require Google Play and whatnot. But that's funny to think about because like, okay. I have like an Xbox account and a PlayStation Network account, okay? And my Xbox account 
uses my alternate email, the one that is not the primary one or the YouTube channel one. It's kind of like my secondary email. But I use it for things like Microsoft, which it's just like, I want to make a Microsoft account. It's just going to be an Xbox account just so I can like actually play Minecraft and whatnot on Pocket Edition. Because I have like two versions of Minecraft. And to be honest, I'm with it right now. They are not the best versions by any means. But I think it's funny because like one of them is the one known to be a lot more playable but also has like certain features removed and then the other one has all of the features but is like barely fucking playable well to a certain extent you know so one of them which is you know pocket vision as i said well we all know the thing about pocket condition is well you can't really uh like when you create a world on the pocket condition and you can't really acquire ender pearls for some reason or if, here's it i read exactly if they just removed ender pearls specifically or if it was they literally only removed the recipe to combine ender pearls with blaze rods but the thing is but the point i'm trying to make is you can't create eyes of ender and if you can't create eyes of ender you can't one locate the stronghold and two even if you just randomly roll locate a stronghold if you find the portal in it you can't activate the portal with no portal to the end you can't fight the ender dragon without being able to fight the ender dragon well you definitely can't really beat minecraft with you know i say beat with heavy quotation marks oh, yeah. so, yeah. in my opinion though minecraft isn't one of those games you can really just beat you know what i mean without a goal there's no like yeah you can achieve a goal yeah you can watch the credits but there's no real beating minecraft you know minecraft like animal crossing tomodachi life or terraria Oh yeah, I was like, what's another game? Oh yeah, when he is the final, final machine of victory, blockheads, you know? Yeah, I'm very gonna use this past. I'm not gonna show you guys my personal game for this one. Oh god, I just actually didn't realize I actually opened up the fucking drawing. Where it is, I'm gonna run me. Yeah, uh, I'm recording it on that. I didn't realize I did that. I'm tired. <sighs> and you probably heard that loud thug noise in the background. That was, it was one of my cats jumping out of an indoor window. And if you don't know what I mean by an indoor window, well, to be honest, it's kind of hard to explain due to the fact of like where it's at. See, in the house that I currently live in, Apparently, what is currently our living room, well, it's only more of a den since it actually came to the fireplace. Apparently, the house, I mean, was essentially just the den in a certain sense, it used to be a garage. And the thing is, though, one thing I have trouble with questioning, one, one thing I have heavy questions about is the fact that why like where the garage essentially would have ended because as i can tell from like the size of the living room one because with the way the doorway is from our current den to what is technically our actual living room which we just use like a gaming room or whatever like i literally just it's like how the hell are we supposed to actually fit like a single door in there and it's not like it's not like narrow enough to be a single door, but it's also not wide enough to be a double door. So like, what the hell was supposed to actually separate, you know, the garage from the rest of the house? Not only that, but the back and side walls, well, definitely the side wall was probably like, like the wall that actually can like, can like, really like separates the inside from the outside of the house. You know, it's on the outside of the outside of the house. 
Like that one definitely was like, like broken and remade and whatnot because of the fact that there's no way someone would actually had a fucking fireplace in their garage. You know? Fireplaces are not something you normally keep in your freaking garage. Not only that, but like the back wall likely was also just broken in a place. And while I can believe there being a door to a bed out in the back of your garage, you know, because like even in my own house, well, most, but house I used to live in, there was just a random like basic like turn knob, pull or push door or in our garage not only that but like because like the way the garage kind of was and whatnot, not uh, because the house was like kind of uh, well there was this in our garage there was like the door the site raised and whatnot. but there was this long like ramp that like there was a platform in front of the door and then there was like part of a ramp that you could like and as you walk up or down or roll stuff up and down and whatnot. Because supposedly the house was designed to cater towards the previous owners who I guess were like, I don't know, they were just very elderly or, you know, just maybe they're paraplegic or something. I don't fucking know, man. All I know is the fucking light switches and whatnot hanged way too damn low. And so that one fucking lamp in the kitchen. Okay. That one lamp in the kitchen. It was just... I hit my head on that thing so many times and it was one of the many reasons why I didn't realize the migraines that I was having on a daily basis not day to day, it's daily I used to have like two to three migraines a fucking day and I thought well you know what, it sounds about right because heck, even when I'd get a migraine and take medication and immediately get another migraine my family and the situation I was living in, because of the fact that the migraines like had somewhat reasonable causes and whatnot, I never really like like actually realized that they were well chronic. Like I just thought they were like regular migraines. I had no idea. I was chronically in pain. I just figured hey, I was just in pain. And I and like for literally since I was born I had been experiencing migraines. Okay. And it took me like basically I think like 18, 19, whatever years to finally, you don't know, cure myself of the chronic migraines. Now I just have barely any migraines and there's you know but now I've gone from having about two or three migraines a day to about having to having about like one migraine every two to three months. And my god, it's the best thing that ever happened. You know. And the doctor was And the funny thing is, the medication that I got that like got rid of my chronic migraines. When my doctor like first prescribed it to me, she so prescribed me I think like twenty five milligrams of it. That's a fucking tiny ass pill dude. Like I want to bet if I try and swallow one of those like 25 milligram pills, I could just breathe. I wouldn't need water to do it, so I could just sit up my tongue and fucking <gasps> and gasp, but like inhale kind of gas. <clears throat> you know, and just like it would just instantly go up and down or whatnot. But at the same time, though, like. It really didn't do shit, and at the same time, you know, like it, like taking the 25 milligrams worth of like supposed anti-migraine medication did the same, like a had the, the same effect as like taking regular headache medication, had like they taking regular medication had for like my migraines, and the sad part is. If you've ever had chronic migraines, like I had chronic migraines, and you took regular headache medication, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're still alive, congratulations, you're one of the lucky ones. Welcome to the club. Here's your complimentary t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? 
We're using a fucking metal swag and that shit. Cause like, when you have chronic migraines and you just take a regular headache medication, the headache medication never gets rid of it. But the thing is though, it still has an effect on it. The problem is though, the effect that it has is making it so much worse. See, one thing I always hated when I had the chronic migraines is whenever I take any headache medication, heck, even like Excedrin tension headache, okay, something that I just think of taking now and like immediately I feel, and immediately a migraine will just start feeling better just from thinking of taking it, you know what I mean? That used to just make my migraines so much worse. But at the same time, it used to be that you either take the medication and like it only gets worse, or you just, you know, don't take the medication and like it just gets worse progressively and whatnot. And but say it's worth that for now until there's, you know. But like if you try to go, just keep, here's the thing the two best things you can do for a migraine, especially when you're having them chronically is take medication and immediately go to sleep. Okay, because the thing about migraines are, they start at a relatively simple pace. They start at about like a mid headache level of pain. And then they just exponentially grow. Well, they're not exponentially, but it's somewhere between like an exponential and just a gradual growth of a migraine and the pain. Here's like, because of the migraines being more of a throbbing, pain and whatnot they tend to like they have like a low point and a high point of like each like when they like throb and whatnot and the thing about chronic migraine is yeah when it when each like high point will progressively get higher each time but at the same time though the low points also get higher so like both the low points and the high points are just increasing in their height. And to the point where me at six foot five would have to look, would have to like 100% like look like, well, to break my neck just to be able to look that high into the sky. I'd have to look directly up and, and fucking jump as high as I could while standing on a re and a full size completely rebuilt replica of the Empire State Building on top of Mount Fiji. You know what I mean? Just to be able to get a glimpse of how high that level of pain is. You know what I mean? Like you think Snoop Dogg high when he smoked weed? You haven't seen the the height of this level of pain experience with a guy named Chronic Migraine. Okay. And when you take medication, oh, you better take medication. And then when you swallow that, medication, you better hope someone's right there to knock you the fuck out. Because that pain's about to get near instantly worse. Worse. To the point where it's already. And it goes from like, oh god, to. Ah, like, what? You better go from, oh god, to just straight up, what? You know, but at the same time, though, you really can't scream because, oh my god, well, it fucking hurts so bad. It got to the point where, like, I had chronic migraines for so long that it got to the point where, like, you wouldn't really realize how much pain I was in until I literally threw up because of it. I'm not kidding. My chronic migraines were so bad got so fucking painful and I experienced them for so long that I literally would throw up from the amount of pain I was in before I ever even shed a single goddamn tear you know but at the same time though I feel I understand why there is some science behind it See, things like crying is more of something you do based on emotion. And throwing up is, well, everything but emotion. You know what I mean? Well, yes, you can throw up for an emotional reason. You have a certain emotion tied to why you're throwing up. Or why you, you know, feel you need to. 
But again, crying is more of a thing you do based on your emotions. And throwing up it is something you do based on, well, everything but emotions, you know? Based on something you've eaten, based on something you've succeeded. Throwing up is more just an emotion-based reaction. It's an actual, like, physical reaction, you know? Crying is a physical sign of an emotional reaction. Throwing up is a, is a sign of, a, is a clear physical sign of a physical reaction in your body. So my head experiencing the amount of pain that it was in, causing me to throw up, yeah. There was no emotion in my vomit. But there was like some fucking emotion in the um, in tears I spread afterwards. Feel like you're fucking I'm in the bathroom crying alone. In the bathroom alone, hunched over the toilet. If I'm not crying, people are gonna think I was drunk. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'd rather not people think I'm drunk when I when I've never even drank alcohol before. The only thing I quote unquote drink is tap water. Bro, I may have a poison of choice, but it's it's fucking chocolate milk. Because for some unknown reason, chocolate milk and chocolate candy, for some reason, my, my, they don't really like, it doesn't look okay, I'm trying to figure out how I can phrase this that doesn't make it sound like, did you give me the shits? Because they do not give me the shits, okay? But like for some reason, chocolate milk, if I drink like a regular, like small bottle of like Highland or whatever, which is like really good chocolate milk, by the way. For some, like for some reason, I guess here's the thing. Like a school carton of chocolate milk. It was like also by Highland in most case. Yeah, that ain't gonna do much. I can, I can probably chug that shit and be perfectly fine. But like a bottle, like a proper, like something you'd find at like a gas station or whatnot, like a bottle of milk, whatnot. Like, if I even think of chugging that shit, like, yeah, I'll start tossing that milk from the milk. I'm like the fucking muscle man. I'm a slow. But I also get the muscle memory of the whole, you know, kind of. <laughs> what the blow? Oh, drunk. So I'm just kidding. There ain't much drunk. This one about that. Yeah. But so many, it's kind of funny looking back at all the things that, like, either guys are gonna throw up or things that throw up. 100%. If I ever get out, like, a, if I ever start making tier list on my channel, one thing I'm definitely going to make a tier list of is, like, the things I've thrown up. And I'm going to tell you what right now. Spoiler alert. Orange juice is an S tier item to vomit and whatnot. Because out of all the things I've vomited, and orange juice is, like, the one thing where, like, 100%, if, I'm, if I know I'm going to vomit, I want it to be orange juice. Like, because here's the thing, okay. One, I actually like the taste of orange juice and whatnot, you know what I mean? I'm an average orange juice drinker, you know what I mean? And the thing is, orange juice seems to be the one thing that, like, somehow, like, it, if you throw up orange juice, for some reason, like, orange juice doesn't really have, like, here's the thing. One thing I gotta mention, okay. My mom has this belief that the most overpowering and Kool-Aid flavor out of all the ones that we have made, because for some reason when we make Kool-Aid, we use Kool-Aid packets and a giant, like, kind of, I guess, like, jug one. I don't really remember how that thing is, like, liquid size in it. This is like a regular jug. We got, like, two cups of sugar and, like, two Kool-Aid packets, and we just fill it up the rest of the way with water as we're stirring it and whatnot. And that's just how we make Kool Aid in our house. But we normally we normally don't, we don't just do like two packets of the same flavor. Sometimes we like mix and match and whatnot. And it's like there's certain combinations that are definitely like a lot better than others. There's, but then again, you know, I'll admit that's mostly due to the fact that you know the opinions of certain ones combinations out there. Like for instance, one of my favorite combinations. I forget exactly 
what the other flavor was, but I do know it was one of the three that we normally get that has strawberry. I don't remember if it was just regular strawberry, strawberry kiwi, or strawberry lemonade, but that was what the, one of the flavors was. The other one was watermelon. You know, watermelon Kool-Aid is one of my favorite flavors of Kool-Aid, 100%. Okay, fucking love me some watermelon Kool-Aid. And I need to explain why I believe watermelon Kool-Aid is actually drinking that stuff. is like, tastes better than eating a watermelon. Okay, I need to explain myself because like, I, because like, here's the thing. Well, man, I've never really just told anyone in the public that I believe drinking watermelon Kool-Aid tastes better than eating watermelon because like, here's the thing, I've eaten watermelon. I do like eating watermelon, but I absolutely love drinking watermelon cooling. And I wanna explain my reasoning for this, okay? Yes, I understand the fruit is called, well, I don't know if watermelon's actually a fruit or not, my definition. I mean, technically this is a big round object that grows on a vine. That's like the same classification. That's like what most berries are and whatnot. Well, I know watermelon could actually be a berry, but I'm pretty sure it's a fruit. I don't know. Okay, just one fact. If I say something, you should probably never quote it. Unless you're going to actually... Yeah, you can make a screen... You can 100% if you want. Make like a kind of desktop wallpaper style, like random image of the fucking dingus. Absolute dingus of me. Like, find the dumbest image you can find. It's just like... Like, insert random thing I've said is this some idiot. And like, yeah, that sounds right. And a hundred percent, yeah, that that's right. Remember, I'm the wise barbarian, not the intellectual barbarian, okay? Not the intelligent barbarian, the wise barbarian. Okay. <laughs> Meaning, I learn from my own experiences rather than other people's. And my experiences with English are not the best. I'm gonna say that right now. I've had horrible experiences with the English language in conversation. <laughs> uh, I say some stupid shit with no regrets. <laughs> uh, and by the way, I do. I did mean to say regrets. It's it's because of the fact that my ADHD brain. Making forcing me to say just a bunch of uh, references to random things and you know no regrets is it was just one random thing I've seen on the internet at one point I think it was like someone was getting a tattoo and they wanted to say no regrets but supposedly the tattoo artist fucked up or whatever and they got fucking no regrets so they actually swapped the E and the R. Uh, how long am I recording? God damn, 43 minute update video. Well, 43 minute, like 14, 15, 60 seconds, so you get the point. Huh? So, yeah, it's just, uh, I can see I go on these fucking tangents because I'm a fucking ADHD. I bet y'all glad when I was, like, you know, recording without my voice, you know, because y'all didn't have to hear me talk for, like, who knows how long, but, like, at the same time, though. One thing I, here's the thing, I tend to like review the actual footage image of the recording before I actually like upload it. I mean, not exactly before I upload it, but essentially, like, well, the before I like was it really before I upload it and like was in there recording it and whatnot. I tend to like upload the foot and like view the footage and whatnot. So, yeah, but, and I've noticed, like, my gameplay footage and whatnot, yeah, the game's always, like, so much louder than my voice, but at the same time, though, I've gone to settings of my recording app, and I tried to, like, like, I got it so it's re recording internal audio and microphone audio, and I got, like, the microphone audio at, like, 100%, but the internal audio at, like, 25%. And you guys have seen that. That's what I've been like, recording with for like the past like weeks. Okay, and like when I'm recording the footage, I've noticed like 
you can like barely hear me. And I'll admit, yeah, technology really tends to not like my voice. Listen, when I'm like trying to get like an AI program or whatever, an AI assistant to like, like register my voice and whatnot, I tend to have to like do a voice, you know what I mean? I can't just talk regularly. Like Google won't respond to me, but he don't respond to fucking Luigi because why you not? You know what I mean? Like if I said like, hey, like and then insert random AI, I ain't then no response. I say, yeah, but if I want like, I'm not gonna end this one like, hey, and then and again, into the random AI here, like, then hey, insert random AI here's this right here, and it's. Just, it's like, I don't really know why Google prefers Luigi over me, but like, well, prefers my Luigi voice over my regular voice, but for some reason Google tends not to respond unless I'm talking like you're like Luigi or some other random character doing some other random voice or whatever. So, yeah. But, you know, it's just, just to recap with the all the video is mostly about. I'm so sorry. I got the stomach bug from like and dealing with the effects of the stomach bug and whatnot for about like most of the week, like most of the middle of the week and whatnot. And because of how like how many days I just really how many nights I couldn't really record like anything properly and whatnot. Like the night before I uh, were going, I'm recording this, so like, when in reality it would be like Friday, I guess like, yeah, it would be like Thursday night to like Friday morning, it was like my first like actual proper, ch like somewhat close to a chance of being able to record, but at the same time though I know for a fact that it would be a horrible idea to just, if I remember like, the actual like next video series I was on, was. Nightmares of the Deep Cursed Heart. You know, the series I'm supposed to record on Tuesday nights to like, well, like when it's some night on Tuesday to upload when I wake up on Wednesdays. You know, so like, yeah, after you're seeing this video, probably don't really expect much of You probably shouldn't really expect another video until. Well, as I said, Wednesday, and it will be a Nightmares of the Deep Curse Heart video. Because, well, that's the video I was meant to, you know, upload, or record and upload, before I got the stomach bug. Because I swear, like, because hopefully, now that the stomach bug's gone through everyone in my house except for my dad, but I'm probably hoping it doesn't smell like. I get him. My dad doesn't inquire because he's kind of the only one with a job that can pay the bills. And also, you know, buy food for the house. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting pretty close to, you know, having to go a couple of weeks with food. Luckily, the night of them recording this, we actually have quite a bit of food in the house because they and my mom and dad have to go like a shopping trip or whatever. So we actually got some like proper food in the house now. Well, unless my dad's working the day shift, so it's not really much here in the morning. And he'll probably be waking up in less than an hour just to walk into the kitchen. Turn the light on, go right back to his room and do all his actual proper getting ready and whatnot. Then he'll be out back out around a little close to four and whatnot, just to situate his, what is into his lunchbox and whatnot, with most of his snacks. And then, then he'll be off at a year 420 or maybe somewhere between 420 and 5 is when he'll leave and whatnot. Which normally after he leaves, which is when I used to just go to bed when I stay up for long nights when he's on his day shift. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this is going to be the uh, Wise Barbarian signing off.
Bye. Bye.